What am I doing? I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing an estimate. I'm going to take you on an estimate. This is one of those jobs that you do an estimate and the people aren't here. I'm in a really nice neighborhood here, here in the Fort Worth area. Um, I'm actually about five miles from my... No, I'm not even five miles. I'm like three miles from actually where I live here in Fort Worth. And I am going to take a look at this estimate. I'm going to put on gloves. Nobody's here, but they left the garage door open. That's what they told me. This is what... When you have a good... Um, what is it called repertoire no it's called a reputation that you do these junk rules and you give these estimates people just leave anything open for you you know what i mean and, and this is one of those areas check out the neighborhood nice neighborhood nice houses and stuff in this area and then you got my truck holy shit that's embarrassing all right so this is the house right here guys this is the garage uh it says no soliciting up there i'm not soliciting i'm here to see the junk removal um uh, they told me that they left the garage open, so what I'm gonna do is open the garage and clip my camera right here and then show you all the garage detail by detail of what's inside of it. So let's open it right now. All right, it's a pick shit garage. Let's go look at it. All right, there's stuff all over the place. I just wanna say that there is stuff all over the place yeah so this was an old lady she lived here and um it's just a mess what a mess people live like this messy 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 yeah people live like this so let's just walk around and see what i can I'm gonna see if there's anything good that I can take right now just to just for the hell of it. I love doing that. I love just taking shit that's not mine whenever it's possible. No, I'm kidding. But I will take something. Um, so let's look at some of the trash. Some of this trash bags. There's trash bags here. There's a big old dresser. This is easily six hundred dollars, okay? Just by looking at it, it is a six hundred dollar uh, and I'm going to talk to y'all like this, okay? So y'all can see me. So this is easily a $600 junk removal, okay? Um, as I go by and I look at all the stuff that's here, damn, that thing is heavy, that little mirror. Uh, there's chairs there, another chair there, um, copy machine, <coughs> a lot of recyclable stuff. I'm noticing there's a lot of recyclable. There's lamp right there. This is recyclable. That's recyclable. That thing's recyclable right there. That thing will never be picked up by family. I guarantee it they don't pick it up. And I'm going to tell you why. That thing is heavy when you put it inside a truck. Okay? Very, very heavy. But there's like a lot of little knickknacks and stuff. Stuff that we can donate also. I noticed that there's three or four things that I can easily donate. A little shelving unit right there is donatable. But this was, you know, I'll be honest with you. This is a job I can do in less than 30 minutes. I can have this all stuff into one of my trailers and it's not a big deal. I'll knock it out so, so quick. Um, half of this stuff will probably go in my F5. Oh, almost fell down. Look, there's a, there's a little bracket for a TV. I can easily sell that or, you know, donate that. That looks pretty cool. There's knickknacks all over the place. I don't know what this is. Check them out. Boom, right there. Look at that. Lululu. So that is an estimate, guys. I want you to look at this one more time, just as I pan through the room and show you the room, everything that's inside of it. Look at it, really, really slow as I'm going by it. Uh, dog houses, dog houses sell really, really quick for some reason. They sell really, really quick. But there's a dog house here. Well, one of the things I do notice, there's a lot of, a lot of these crates little crate plastic crates so those things i sell those a lot like crate i mean i sell those a lot in garage sales that i have when i resell some of this stuff but uh overall it's six hundred dollars you can tell it's six hundred dollars it's a flat rate uh that's what the estimate price would be on on this what is that over there i noticed there's something that's what the uh estimated price would be on this uh junk removal i'm gonna give her the price in just a second and then you'll see me do this junk removal so this is not a 100 percent job that i've got so far okay this is not a job i've got this is uh an estimate i came up here to primarily give her an estimate and that's it but i'm pretty sure i'll get it i'm confident that nobody else is going to beat that price at 600 dollars. but check it out and i don't think she's going to call anybody because nobody answers the damn phone all right guys so there you go don't forget this is ricardo with the junk guys dfw.net give me a call uh, don't forget, subscribe over there to the right side. On the left side, check out my other videos. And I will talk to y'all later. This is what you call a garage clean out. 
Um, it is not a hoarder clean out. This is just a garage clean out. Everything's very easily stackable. That's what I like about it. You can stack everything up. That's all. There's only a few things loose. And I'm going to bring my own crates to make this really, really easy for me. And knock it out. 35, 40 minutes to do a job like this. And you know what? This is what I'm going to take with me. I found a baseball. I'm going to take this baseball and cherish this baseball a lot. Okay? Cherish it so much that I'm going to throw it in the back of my truck. Shit. Shit, it fell out of my truck. All right, well, never mind. Never mind. That was stupid. All right, guys. I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Adios. Good night. Good night. I mean, uh, I'll look hard tonight.